Hi everyone, Mickey from Figma here. Today I'm going to be talking about what sections in Figma means for your prototypes. So the first thing I'm going to show you, if I press Shift S, you can generate a new section and sections can now contain frames. So think of it as a way to organize your frames, components, and other things in Figma. So it's just another kind of primitive for housing elements. But what it means for prototyping is actually way more intriguing because you can now remember the states of areas of your prototype. And what that means is this. Let's say here here I have this prototype, I have a little pet finder app, and when I click on this cat section and I navigate through, when I go back home and click back in, it's always going to start me at that first point. So same here, when I go and I start with the dogs and I go back home and if I go back in, it doesn't remember where I was in that given section. So now with sections, what you do is you have the ability to remember the state of a given section of a prototype. So the way that that works, each of these are kind of like their own little galleries going back and forth. And now I can have this one targeted directly to this whole section and this section going right over here to the left. So this image, when I click on it, it'll go to the cat gallery, but it'll remember which cat I'm currently on when I revisit that section. So let's start that over again. Let's hit that prototype. When I click on these cats, I go one, two, three, four, five. I go back home. When I click on this, it remembers that I was on five. So now with these dogs, I click on it. One, two, three. When I go back home and I click on the dogs, it remembers I was on three. When I click on cats, I was on five. So the reason that this is important is that it can drastically simplify your prototypes. You no longer require the complexity necessary to try to trick Figma into remembering a current state of a given section of a prototype. So give that a shot. Let me know what you think. And as always, happy designing.